Mom. Hi. Hi I'm sorry Sandy. that I'm late. All right, beautiful. You're on the phone? Yeah, your um, your dad just called. He was checking up on me. So much for not pushing it. What'd you say? Hmm? What? Nothing. No, we're all just really worried about you. Are you okay? You know what? I'm not sure. Tomas confesses to murdering Victor, which means I um, fell in love again with a very violent man. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Okay, so you have feelings for Tomas. It's not like you married him. This is not the point here. See, I made a decision. I opened my heart. And now you regret it. And I had a choice. And I could have... I, you know what? Forget about it. I'm not even going to talk about this. You better tell no, me. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Who needs it? I don't. Let's go get a hot chocolate. They have, they have real whipped cream here. Unbelievable. You're not going anywhere until you tell me what you're going to say. You don't want to hear this, sweetheart. Yes, I do. Want. Okay, it's about your father, okay? For weeks, I have felt that he really was trying to tell me something, okay? And before I rode off into the sunset, I told you about this already. And before I rode off into the sunset with Tomas, I felt like I needed to talk to your dad to find out what he was thinking. Yes. And then he went off and you decided that you could not live with his temper. Yes. Because I can't. Right. Okay. It's just that I You thought, made your decision. You are not going to change your mind. Right. Because I do not want to be involved with yet another man who could end up in jail or in a ditch. Okay? And now look at me. Are you going to change your mind? Here we go. Nothing like a good cup of hot chocolate on a cold day, huh? Mmm. Would you quit stalling? Are you going to give Dad a chance? Sweetheart, nothing has changed in terms of your father. He can still fly off the handle. God, you should have seen him the other night. He looked in his office and he was all up in Tomas's face and it just... Oh my God. What? You remember when I told you I went looking for your dad? Yeah, yeah, at his office. But your dad wasn't there, but Tomas was. Okay. In your dad's office alone, and I thought it was weird, but Tomas said he was just there to warn your dad about Baker. Baker's that guy that... Yeah, who worked for Irene. I right. Do you know what? He wasn't there to warn him about Baker. My bed. He was there to frame your dad for Victor's murder. So that's why Tomas was in Dad's office that night to frame him. Yeah. I mean, why not? Until Tomas confessed, everybody thought your dad had done it. Not everyone. Okay, you always see the good in your father, and I do appreciate that. But John was convinced that your dad had done it, and he was just waiting to find the murder weapon so he could turn the case over to the DA. Except. Tomas is the one that had the gun because he took it from Louie. And I'll bet you another one of these hot chocolates that that's what he was doing in your dad's office. He was trying to plant that gun in there until I walked in and caught him. Well, then why didn't he plant the gun after you left? Because your dad walked in and he couldn't do it. That's why Tomas had the gun. That's why he hid it in the back of that drawer. He was just waiting for another opportunity to frame your dad. And that's also why John could never figure out why Tomas never got rid of the murder weapon. Now we know why. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. What are you talking about? It makes perfect sense. And your father knew it. He knew all along. And, you know, here I thought he was just acting all crazy jealous, but, but he was right about Tomas. Instead of me staying there and following my plan, talking to your dad about stuff, I went home and I... I slept with Tomas. Mom, that's too much information. Just learn from my mistakes, dear. Learn from my mistakes. So what are you saying? Are you saying that you should have picked Dad? So we can't rewrite history. All we can do is move forward and hope that we don't make the same mistakes twice, you know? But you wanted to know what he was thinking, so you must have been curious. I don't know if I was curious. I was just hopeful. Hopeful maybe that things had changed, but they haven't. Your dad still gets angry. I still choose the wrong man. Business as usual. Okay, but now you can, now that you what? see that, you can change it. No, I can't, because I'm done with men. Uh-uh. Three strikes, I am out. Three. Todd, Eli, Tomas, I am done. 
Let's go get a tree. Oh, I think that it, Dad had it right all those years. About what? Are you okay? I'm fine. About what? About having the tree delivered. Well, I think he might be right about that. This is heavy. I'm going back to the guys at the lot and telling them that we changed our okay. minds. Okay. Can I just say one, one more thing? About? Trees? No, it's about Dad. <laughs> please, please listen to me. I know that you've been hurt a lot. Mm-hmm. By Dad. And Tomas and Eli. Star. A lot of others. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But, you know, you feel like you can't trust yourself right now. That's only because you just now finally figured it all out. <laughs> right? You just have a thing for exciting guys. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that's one way of putting okay, it. Okay, but like I said, you didn't marry Tomas. You took your time with him. And yes, you got hurt, but there was no permanent damage. Why don't you tell that to my heart? You have the biggest heart. Out of anyone that I know. Star. You do. And you should use it. I want you to fall in love again. And I do not blame you for swearing off guys for a while. <laughs> but not forever. Please. You're going to find that right person. And now that you know the truth about yourself, you can't help but find that one. Mm -hmm. What in the world? What I do without my little wise one here. You will never, ever have to find out. Love you. I love you. <laughs>